I am so glad that nobody truly likes Keffels anymore. Well, except maybe Tipster, that's easily her biggest fan. But nobody liking her lets us get everything that she ever says just publicly leaked. She gets no privacy, no ability to manipulate and lie behind the scenes like she's done for years and years. And it's truly just amazing. We got some new Discord leaks where she still continues to play the victim, talking about how the drama really just doesn't affect her, even though she's been hiding offline since the Mudahar's video dropped. Besides, one time she did try to stream, and again, just humiliated herself, which we're gonna watch right now. A couple weeks back, Mr. Wukong tweeted out, Kevils did a secret since-removed Twitch-only gaming stream. I was like, I was contemplating like when I should just start streaming again. And I figured I may as well just rip the bandaid off and go back to streaming. It's cool how many random people showed up to an unannounced stream after a two month hiatus. I don't know what I was expecting. I think a better band-aid to rip off would be addressing the $100,000 you stole from your fan base, or all the suspect and degenerate shit that happened on your Discord catboy ranch, including giving minors HRT behind their parents' back. Those would be band-aids I think would better suit you to rip off and respond to, instead of acting like, oh, returning to streaming is your biggest problem you have to deal with right now. Just so pathetic. Also, I've heard she had like 60 viewers at the time she was streaming. Most of them were probably hate watching, getting ready to clip any deranged shit she might say, because this person is an absolute lunatic who needs to just disappear from the internet. After refunding every person she scammed in her GoFundMe, of course. Honestly, actually, I was expecting more people to be angry, but so far that hasn't happened. No, I didn't mean like angry from the people who actually want to be here. I just meant like angry from drama freaks. I want to know what Keffels is thinking during this dead air after she says drama freaks. She has to just be cataloging all the lies that she said publicly. Because I believe this person is absolutely malicious. I don't think that they're incompetent. I don't think they lie on accident or it just kind of happens and slips out. She's fully aware of everything she's done. And when she says drama freak, she knows that that's a continuation of her lies. And it's just absolutely ridiculous to see her act so high and mighty above anyone who does drama. As if she hasn't also done the exact same thing. Except usually for people who don't deserve it, like Vosh. When she defended Vosh and all the lolly horse shit that he had on his hard drive. Well, I think honestly it was because I didn't respond. Um... You are a fool to a There is nothing to really there's, there's nothing you could really like I don't even know how to like say what I'm trying to say. What she's trying to say is that there's absolutely nothing that she can do in her position in order to win optically or respond to anything and come out on top. Because anything she says is just going to make it look worse for her. She can't tell the truth about this stuff. She's way too deranged and deep in her lies to tell the truth about her GoFundMe money or own up and apologize for what she's done in Catboy Ranch, etc. So she's not actually wrong if you're thinking of the perspective of there's nothing she can say to save face because there absolutely is nothing she can do. She's completely and totally been exposed and humiliated by Mudahar, Destiny, and basically the entire commentary community as a whole. It's just pathetic. I'm not planning on making any sort of response because I don't think I owe anyone a response. When I say I'm done with drama, I legitimately mean it. I don't care about any of this shit. You absolutely do owe a response to the people who donated you over $100,000. Given you've made absolutely no progress on your legal case, which the money was for originally, that is at minimum who you do owe a response to because they gave you the money that you've been using for your drug habits and other various bullshit the last couple of years. Total disgrace. Part of the reason I got burnt out is because I wasn't enjoying streaming. Like it was, it was stressful and it was anxiety inducing and I want to just, yeah, I just want to fucking game. Being faced with the fact that I've lied and manipulated to hundreds of thousands of people on the internet is stressful and anxiety inducing, guys. If I go live, I might know that I will be called out for my own actions and the consequences that come with it. I just want a game, man. That's all I want to do. 
I don't know how anyone can look at this person and not just be disgusted and want to throw up in their mouth. Unless you're also a notorious liar like your boy Tipser, who I guess watches all this shit and sees the way that she handles things and thinks she's a great homie and a great friend to have. It's mind-boggling to me. I, I don't even believe it. Well, I feel like if, I, if I'm streaming Battlegrounds enough, people will eventually learn. Not a bad summon. Saying people will eventually learn the rules, or like, I'll get the sweaty nerd crowd who will try and backseat game me into championship. You're absolutely way too boring to build up a genuine audience of people who just want to watch a game, man. Especially since you will never escape the amount of lies that you have put out on the internet. You are going to get shit for this for the entirety of your life unless you either address it or refund the people who you scammed. And so this short clip is already just absolutely shameful, but there's more responses that she's posted in her Discord and such. So let's read this first one that Nicholas Duro tweets out where he says, All Keffels has to do is show evidence the GoFundMe money, past the initial goal, is still safely tucked away in an account. I mean, she can't because it's been spent, but that's all she would need to do. And here's a message Keffel sent to her Discord where she says, At everyone, I was made aware that people are stressing out the mods by asking questions about me, so I want to address something quickly. The legal case between me and the police is still ongoing, and I'm currently awaiting for the tribunal to schedule a mediation. I am currently trying to come to a mediated resolution with the police to address what happened to me in hopes that I can close this chapter of my life sooner instead of proceeding with a lengthy, stressful, years-long legal battle that will constantly make me relive what I was subjected to. So amazing. She collected $100,000 for court fees, and now she's openly telling her Discord she wants to, what, settle it out of court? Which also probably isn't even happening at all. I guarantee you this person who already lied about everything that happened with the police doesn't even think about this, especially since they're so just on drugs constantly every day. I told everyone that this would be a process that would take years to see through until the end, and I don't particularly like talking about it because it was an incredibly traumatizing period of my life where I was subjected to police violence as well as intense public ridicule for not being a perfect victim and how I reacted to trauma. The fact Keffels thinks that that's what she got backlash for and not the fact that she lied multiple times about everything that happened in that case at this point just gets less and less shocking every day i mean she was saying that she woke up in her bed to guns in her face in her bedroom from the swat team to eventually that her partner was just standing outside speaking with the police and she woke up and just walked out to see what was going on and that's just one of many many lies that she has spewed about this bullshit this person is just completely shameless i have absolutely no intention of making any sort of public response besides this post and haven't given any updates on the case because there haven't been any since the last update. Amazing. So where's the money at? What's the money doing then? Is it sitting away in an account ready to be used? Or has it already been spent on cocaine and other drugs? I'm curious. You owe your donors an explanation for where this money has been and where it's going. I think the public backlash to me seeking justice for what happened to me has been particularly cruel. Instead of focusing on the swatter who put this series of events in motion, or the police who acted on obviously bad information, some people have decided to position me as the antagonist when I was the victim of a hate crime. Just because some crime happened to you doesn't give you justification to lie about the extent of that crime, and then also use that crime to grift and scam people for money and then not apply that money to what you said it would be used for. Even if this was an assault instead of a SWAT, let's say, and you were assaulted in the streets and then wanted to pursue legal action against your assaulter, and then you never actually did it and lied about the extent of what happened, stole money from your fans, and then doubled down on those lies, it would be the exact same thing. The point is you're a liar and you use this to deflect off the fact that you have manipulated your audience and your donors and it's truly just ridiculous. I'm still on hiatus to take care of my mental health and focus more on my personal life but I wanted to ask you all to stop bothering mods who don't even know the intricacies of the situation. I've attached my most recent email correspondence with my lawyer for clarification on where things are. I'll see you all when I return to streaming next month. And then she shows an email with Justin Anisman where he says, Hi Clara. Just waiting on the HRTO to schedule a mediation. Not much to do until then. I'll write to them to see what the ETA is, but they might not be able to tell us. Which is just amazing. There's no timestamp on this. I mean, this could easily just totally be faked. This is the worst bit of evidence I've ever seen in my entire life. But then you have all these amazing reactions, heart reactions. Tipster's probably in there somewhere. He's one of these 13 heart reactions to this terrible message. But finally, time for the new Discord leaks where she talks about how she's going to be returning to content creation soon and flexing that she's not really affected by all the drama. This first one here, some user named Emma says, when you get back to making 
making content? And Keffels responds, probably next month. Fire emoji. Yes, let's go. Time to stream to 30 viewers and play Hearthstone all day while ignoring the ever-growing load of drama that's on your shoulders. Let's go, poggers. I can't, I can't wait to watch this incredibly boring content. I am enjoying my time offline. No one is mad at me all the time. There's no drama. It's just chill. Well, I'm mad at you, and I'm going to be mad at you all the time. Every moment that you're offline, there is plenty of people who are pissed at you, including all the people who donated $100,000 to you, who you have not given answers to or responses to. So yeah, this is a, this is a total cope. No, it's not chill at all. You shouldn't be chilling. Just try not to turn back to drugs again to avoid your problems. Swatting is attempted murder. Someone wanted the police to shoot me dead. And people are somehow positioning me as evil for not reacting perfectly to that. Yeah, because once again, that's the only criticism anyone ever has of you. She's somehow trying to position herself that all of her detractors actually support swatting. And the only thing they have to say is that she just overreacted to the SWAT. Not the lies, not the Catboy Ranch, not the scamming your audience, none of that. It's just that you overreacted. Maybe that you cried about thinking about the swatting. That's really what everyone is shitting on you for. There's just no genuine criticism at all that anyone has to say to you. This person just lives in a delusional fairy tale land. It's amazing to just watch it unfold. Then this user XP says, I guess to give my own two cents, I really feel like Keffels is in a situation where no matter what she says on social, and I'm going to assume probably says on social media she'll get backlash for it, and Keffels responds, You got it correctly. Everything I say is read as nefarious, and I am presumed guilty first, and am constantly expected to prove my innocence. When you send bathtub HRT to minors behind their parents' back, while also putting Shotokan on the box, you are immediately, absolutely, purely evil. It's amazing to me that for years the online trans community allowed Keffels, who is like the perfect caricature of an evil trans person that the right would use, to run everything about their movement, including using a Discord to secretly send hormones to minors behind their back and also pink pill minors, openly using fetishizing words and language when they talk about giving minors hormones. I mean, it's quite literally something that you would almost think that someone on the right just made up because it's absolutely so absurd and disgusting. Like one of those, this person isn't real, like you're mad at someone that doesn't exist type of things. But that's actually exactly who Keffels is and exactly who she's always been. A perverted degenerate who openly wants to groom minors with HRT and steal money from her fan base. But anyway, that's all the new updates on this Keffel shit, guys. There's the new leaked Discord messages for you all. Again, appreciate all the support on the daily videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.